Hey guys, today is May 18, 2020. It is week eight Monday of spring quarter in UC Davis, which is quarantine quarter where everyone is mostly home, um, except for myself, who is in the dorms. And I want to record myself, like, what do we do as a UC Davis student and Aggie living in the dorms during this quarantine quarter? So, kind of break down. Um, I'm taking five classes right now. Linear Algebra, Engineering Problem Solving, Circuits 1, Microeconomics, and one more class, what is it called? And Physics, which is Waves and Quantum Mechanics, which is like really hard class. And recently, I actually just started doing this job that I've been actually anticipating to do since April, but because of the quarantine, um, it got pushed back until today. Well, today as in sometime this week, because today I just made my ability to work. So right now I'm about to finish my linear algebra homework, which is due tonight. And then I can start my pre-lecture, which is due tomorrow morning before I have my engineering six lecture. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty busy. Just before we go visit our room, I want to show you guys something kind of interesting about this. One thing I want to point about that's pretty cool is that the whiteboard for Mahogany 2, the public one, is labeled, with, it's drawn out the US state with every single state name labeled and the shape of them approximately drawn along with Mexico and a lot of other stuff too, like, you know, major cities. Um, it's right now about 9.30 and a little bit hungry so I'm going to drive all the way to in and out and then I can buy some food and then I'm going to eat with my friend. Um, a little bit of violation of the rules of um, no guests and the quarantine isolation but um, a little small interaction is not going to hurt I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go and um, get my car and I'm going to go in and out. To my surprise, uh, the long line exists for in and out during this quarantine. There's still a huge line for the in and out. I bet there's like one, two, three, four. 12 cars ahead of me about approximately one double double sure, no nope. okay. one vanilla milkshake okay. uh, one french fries okay. one three by three yep to go uh to go That order was about fifteen dollars. How are you doing? Hi. Uh, so I got a double bubble three by three and fry and a vanilla shake. Yep. And an animal fry, right? Oh, you have the animal fry. That's right. Is that everything? Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. So I have one good news, and it's that in and out is finally open again so you can go in and buy stuff in person. You can't dine in, but it's a much better experience not to go through the drive-thru and you can finally just go there and buy stuff. Wow, look at that. Go in here and just buy stuff. So we line up. Fourth here in UC Davis, I'm right outside Mac Hall. It's 21 degrees Celsius. It's super hot right now. And this is, this is Mrak Hall where the Chancellor would work. It's a Sunday, I'm, I don't think he's here. But let's just see if we can even go into this building. Doesn't work either. Well, oh, here it is. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday. Oh my God. 
guys Cheeto today is the 26th outside the physics building oh my god chunk hi chunk in DC during this coronavirus situation here in UC Davis so we have to go down to the dining commons and first thing we have to do before we go in is you have to put on this mask we have this face covering uh or mask we can go get through it in dc and it's very different we have to go to each station and then order each food before they can serve it to us um, that's true for every single food that we order thank you One veggie stir fry. All right, great. Uh, teriyaki spicy and chili sauce. Hi. Uh, one chicken teriyaki sandwich. All right. But no fries, by the way. One banana watermelon and the pineapple. 50-50. Do you get those chocolate thingies yeah. over there? Turn all these boxes back to your door. So that's a dog right outside my residential director's house. Later, dog. We're at 18,999 bottles. Let's see if we can reach to 19. Oh, there we go. Yay. Yeah. Today is the 29th. I have to have do a quiz for linear algebra. How quizzes work in linear algebra is we have to write them on paper or tablet, and we need to scan, put it on grade scope. Uh, Tercero's computer center is still open. We have to wear a face mask before we go in. There's still 250 pay sheets of paper that you can use. Every other computer station is shut down. There's still RCA going on, so they are on call. They will still be here to fix things. So I'm here in Mahogany Hall where I live right now and staring across this Kearney Hall where I used to live. Um, they shut down this building. Everyone who lived there has to move out. Passing it by every single day, the lights are still on. Even like a couple of days where they left the trash room open so we can go into Kearney Hall. It's currently 1.30 a.m. So apparently the doors are still open. Um, the room lights are closed, but the hallway light is still open. That's a bed right there, that's a chair, that this is a triple room. Kearney has no single rooms except for RA rooms. This is another one. This is like the bathroom, the bathroom lights are still on. This is like the behind the trash room. Like, you open this, there's a trash room in there. Oh, that's a lounge. That's, a, that's the main lounge. Oh, that's this lounge right there. The lounge lights are still on. Well, the hallways are light on, but like, the back entrance, a lot of people would come in and out from here. That. Oh my god, all the doors are still open. The doors for the rooms, but the hallways are still on. It's another back entrance. Yeah, that's the water fountain right there. The only water fountain in this building is right there. That's the laundry room. The laundry room lights are still on. Right outside the laundry room. The lights are off for this one. The lights are still on in there for the laundry room. Um the study hall, the study lounge. Is the lights are completely off. It's a lay bin. None, none of the room lights are on now. Just the hallway lights and the bathroom lights are on. The li staircase lights, the spider lights on. It's like no one even comes in here anymore. This used to be my room right here. It's like this is the main entrance into the Kearney. And then right there is my former room. TV lounges. The lights are off. No one's in here. Look at that. The elevator is still operational, I believe. Door is always open like that, even right now. This is Kearney right here, and that's Laban. For Laban, they have RA it's on a bulletin board immediately to the left of us. It doesn't look like it's, they're all taken down now. <sighs> yep, they took it down, everything. Look at Laban right now. The Laban slice, the study lounge is still on. The whiteboards are still not wiped out yet. I can see like there are people say bye Laban or stuff like that. I don't know about now. Campbell, hallway lights are still on. 
study lounge. Lights are on, I think. Laundry room is still operational. I don't expect to see too much bikes, but there are still a few. I wonder why there are still bikes. Some people just take it away. Do they not take it away? Do they leave it here? So they, when they come back and can I get it back? That's Potter, that's where I live. That's where I used to live. That room right there, Potter 201. Lights are off, TV is there. Lights are still on. They didn't take down all the RA signs. The RA's introduction is still there. Laundry's room is still on. Looks like it's still on. We can still go in there and wash our clothes. Study rooms, um, lights are not on, they're off. This is wall. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. That sure is interesting. They left their chairs and the recycling bins right outside the hallway at the end, right by the window. The golf cart is still here. Now, this one is usually when the lights are off. That means no one has ever walked by for a while now. Lights are off for this one. Golf cart is still here. It's still charging. That means some people might still be using them. The elevator for this one is also still there. And that's Wame in front of us. We can still go into Wame. See what's up with the warming kitchen? Caution sign right there. While they move all the things for the couch, that's the eerie way to go into there. The bikes are all dark. There's still stuff in the fridge. There's still a flask right there. There's still some things in the freezer. I'm not gonna go through the cabinets, but I thought since I kind of exposed Segundo, I explored quite a lot of Tercero. I haven't went to Quarto yet, so I'm gonna go to Quarto right now and see how it's like there. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to drive to Quarto. Okay, so we're approaching Quarto. It's still under construction. Right here, the building Shasta Hall, which is like the third hall of Quarto. So they can have more students on campus. So approaching right here is Tahoe, which is... <clears throat> None of the room's lights are, op are turned on right now. Instructions worker were right there, and now I don't see it anymore. They probably hit here super early. <clears throat> so that's Haho, which is actually a pretty interesting building because like, it looks beautiful from the outside. She never actually went into Taho, but it was actually on the bucket list for UC Davis. But yeah, that's the card reader right there. It's still kind of on. And then the building is still, the, the light is still on. This room right there, the whole light is on. So I, I'm, I'm think there's some people that are still here right now. So I'm approaching Yosemite. Yeah, look at that. Like, I don't see any light on except for like right there, right that one. And then there's a staircase, light is still on. The laundry room, surprisingly, the lights are on. There's still a shit ton of bikes here. I don't know why. Where I used to live, there's a bike right there that's parked right there. The only way you lock. Computer center is, is like not open at all. And all right, so this is like the back door of Puerto DC. Also, you can go go around it. What is it? There's a staircase. What's the third floor? Well, you can you can go up there. I didn't know that. Quarto office. Oh, just the Quarto market. So Quarto Market is not even open at all. Quarto Market will be closed through April 16th through summer 2020. Quarto DC, which is not open at all. Quarto Dining Commons will be closed for the remainder of spring and summer is starting Thursday. All right, let's approach up here. All right, so that's the other side of Tahoe. It's still on. They didn't close it down. I'm assuming wherever, wherever we can just grab all of these bike scooters are stolen like they just left the frames here like this one has only one wheel left this one only has one wheel left this one only has one wheel left this one doesn't have any wheels anymore more bikes so this is like a mix of like bike parking and actual car park i'm not a quarto citizen but not sure if we go in there let's try so let me go in 
Well, I guess I can go in there. So I don't know why they have like window Aryan call numbers here. It's like if you go up there, this is for Tahoe, right? That's really all quarto. There's nothing much left here to to see. Now, this might be a little creepy, but like if if we let's zoom in here. There's actually a lamp in there, like a regular Tahoe room or a regular dorm room. That's the only light that's still seen in a room here in Tahoe. Well, I am in the new algebra with Professor Nguyen, and she usually re records her lecture on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And today I'm lucky enough to finally catch her in Geet Hall today. So. I'm going to sneakily record my process of her recording the lecture. So let's try to catch some first off of her voice recordings. Um, sneakily. That's her right now. Person with store dash some sushi. Ordered it for pickup. Sushi in Davis Sushi Buffet. Now I'm gonna drive back on campus and I'm gonna eat this. This is uh, fueling up at a gas station. During quarantine, I'm trying to avoid as much contact as possible. I'm getting paid for towels so I can remove the nozzle like that. And then I can fill up my car if it would fill. So I'm here at the Welcome Center in UC Davis. I don't see any people around here. So I'm pretty sure there are like a few people just like, the lights in here are turned on. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Oh, there are people in there. Huh, okay. So I've never seen what's in there, but I expect to see like a couple of people. So this is definitely not one of those. There's no one here. It's June fifth. 10 p.m. and we have a full moon. So today, um, one thing I realized about Davis was it's kind of smoky. I think there's a nearby fire going on and there's like smoke like all over Davis and there's a wind going by. It's not too surprising that's going on right now because considering how dry and hot and windy it is, it's very easy to start a wildfire somewhere and we just, I just smell a lot of smoke and it's, um, I don't smell any smoke right now, but I'm kind of concerned about other people's health here as well. It's 9.30 and June 6th here in some part of Davis. I've gone stir crazy enough to the point where I just need to step out of my dorm. 
like now for like a kind of long time just trying to explore like this neighborhood of Davis because this caught my attention this looks this place looks beautiful um yeah I mean it's like there's like this is like houses and stuff it's like small and beautiful just eye-catching so I guess like this is like a little playground in this residential area but um, of course through COVID they put just like strips around it so you cannot come in um, they like sealed it off putting signs everywhere and then they, they even sealed this like part it's like a picnic table and stuff um, there's even a sign on this bench right here saying oh do not gather for recreation stuff like that so there's like no one here in this tunnel right now I expect it to be like a little bit more people in the morning but definitely now here at 9 30. one thing about me after moving into East Davis is like I really love exploring like the city of Davis it's like I love just jump riding a jump bike all over the campus and in Davis and I'm continuing again with that hobby this time of a car so I just asked my Apple Watch where I am here at 3030 Cowell Boulevard in Davis, California, which is like very far from campus, um, east, southeast of Davis. During this pandemic, we're isolated and sheltering in place and stuff. This is like very calm and very relaxing, like, Getting to step out of your room is like a very important thing to do during this pandemic. <clears throat> this is how I see it. Last meal, for me at least, this last lunch at Tessero, D.C. for spring 2020 during the COVID-19 season. The usual way, however, during this COVID-19 pandemic period, UC Davis Housing has provided Students, students on campus housing for those who needed it, for those who are not able to move, and they're allowed to stay here regardless of whether or not they're taking some session one or two as long as they're a student here. So, but for those who are not necessarily staying for summer session one or two during COVID-19 period, supposedly the, the doors would kick us out after tonight at 11 p.m. However, there are students who require some transition time then they're given up to the 21st with some fee to stay a little bit longer here on the dorms. They will be charged during the dollar fee. And during that extension time, there will be no meals provided. Tercero and Segundo will not open during that time. Tercero and Segundo will not be open during the summer because they will have construction going on there. So instead, for those students who are staying on campus during summer sessions, allowed to DC, the newest DC that's open, that serves really good food, in my opinion. They're gonna open again um, for summer, each summer session, the rate is the double rate, which is $2,628.49 per session. And that doesn't include interim periods. And for those who are required some an interim period after summer session two to fall to the beginning of fall quarter, that's only for students who are staying in the dorms for fall 2020, 809 dollar charge. For those 10 nights that they're staying there they're a little bit more generous with like the breakfast time during the during the summer they're actually opening 15 minutes earlier than usual which is actually not a lot of time i take that back so for breakfast time they're open from 6 45 a.m to 9 a.m and lunch time is from 11 a.m to 2 p.m and dinner time is 4 45 p.m to 7 p.m so that's really all the information about staying on campus for summer. And for me, like I said, I'm gonna move to outside of campus and I'm gonna do that tonight after I finish my final, which is at 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. So this is my last night sleeping here. Honestly, I'm gonna miss just not having roommates how others feel when I'm in the room. Spring quarter has been really lonely for me. I didn't really get to socialize much. Online school is actually really stressful for me. I actually much prefer being running around campus and doing everything like normal. Um, I just don't like online school. It's really, really 
a really, really stupid idea. I'm forced to stay on campus because of my job, and frankly, I really don't like being at home. So being up here alone, spending time not with my family and not with people, it has been really great for me. It's been really rough, like not being a hang with friends, but ultimately, we don't have a choice. Spring quarter definitely is the worst quarter I've ever experienced during the first three quarters of my college life. Um, it's really not great. All right, so Mahong Channel 7, um, everything is empty now. Uh, so this is what we have to do, to clean up everything. We make sure we leave no single thing here, so that all the furniture are placed in the right spot, stuff like that, and then everything is cleaned out. Um, yeah, everything is like that. And this is how it looks like.